hi i was wondering if you would like to unhaul some books with me um as mentioned i read 52 books this year and i'm very proud of myself for that i have a lot more to go this year though as i have so many books on my shelves that i have not read um so i wanted to start by clearing out a little from this last year of reading i tend to want to keep my books um a if i really really enjoyed them um, B, if I'm like collecting a lot by the same author, even if I didn't necessarily like that one particular book a lot. I just, I guess mostly it, it doesn't have anything to do with whether or not I feel like I'm going to reread them, which I know is why a lot of people uh, keep and collect their books. Um, these are just ones that I don't feel like I really connected with. I know they'd be better off in someone else's hands and I want to make room on my shelf to buy more books, which I already did yesterday, even though I was going to put myself on a book buying ban this year. So let's get started. Um, first unhaul is Writers and Lovers by Lily King. This is a hardback. I got this from Romans in Pasadena, which is one of my absolute favorite bookstores. Um, it just didn't, didn't super connect with me. I gave this a three out of five stars and I know that other people have enjoyed it a lot more than I have, so. Shit Cassandra Saw by Gwen E. Kirby was bought at a Barnes & Noble. I really enjoyed part of this, parts of these stories, um, but not the whole thing. And I think that someone else can enjoy it as a whole a lot more than I did, um, but I gave it a two and a half out of five stars. And look at this beautiful cover, look at it. From Half Price Books in Indiana, it did make the flight all the way back with me. I am unhauling Another Brooklyn by Jacqueline Woodson. This was uh, incredibly well written. I, I do think that the story was very moving and hard to read at times, um, very important, but I don't see myself rereading it um, or trying to give it to any of my friends. So I'm just going to uh, donate this one probably. Prater Violet by Christopher Isherwood. I bought from Book Soup in West Hollywood. This cover was just so intriguing to me. It's about Hollywood and I really, really thought I guess I just had really, really high hopes and I think those ended up uh, hurting me in the end. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I give it a two out of five stars. The two other books from my seven books I read in seven days that were also two stars were Mona and The Alchemist. They just weren't totally my writing style. I know that this is an important book to other people and I know that other people could like this one way more than I liked it. So I will be unhauling these. I will be unhauling It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This was sent to me by a friend. I totally understand why people are falling in love with Colleen Hoover's books. I was super intrigued and read it in like a day and didn't want to stop reading it, but it wasn't totally my thing. I give it a two out of five stars. Um, and I know that other people are super into it, so hopefully somebody else will want it. Next, A New Animal by Ella Baxter. I bought this from Romans as well. I love, love, love the publication of this book, which is by $2 Radio. Um, the book itself, I just know that it could be better off enjoyed in someone else's hands. But just look at this beautiful publication. Okay, yep, okay. Oh, um, okay. I'm going to unhaul you. I, again, really, really enjoy the series. Um, I think I was just too close to the series to think that the book was as defying as it probably is. Um, hopefully somebody else will get some enjoyment out of it. I don't remember where I got this run, but I will be unhauling this. In Five Years was sent to me by the same friend that sent me um, It Ends With Us. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I just don't see myself rereading it or needing it on my shelf um, to suggest to other people. So I will be unhauling this. I will be unhauling Tender is the Flesh, which I talked about in my 52 books this year. I just, it's so disturbing. It's so good. It is beautifully written. She, Augustina knows what she's doing, uh, but it was, it was very difficult for me to read. So I will be unhauling this because I do not want to read it. 
ever again. Very similar vibes to um, watching Midsommar. Um, I watched it and was like, I'm glad that I can contribute to conversations about this, but I would like to never have anything to do with it ever again. So there we go, that one. And the last book I will be unhauling this year is Sisters by Lily Tuck. Um, this was bought off of clearance from Romans again, I think. And it's just not something that I see myself returning to or suggesting to other friends. So I will be unhauling this as well. Just an afterthought, Kelsey here to ask, how do you guys get rid of your books? Do you just donate them? I would love to be a person that could just donate their books, but I did spend a lot of money on them. And um, I don't have a lot of great like book buying back programs around me. I might, I live in LA. I'm sure there are, and I'm just not aware of them. But um, how do you guys sell your books? Please let me know if you have any um, recommendations. Thanks, bye. So I unhauled all of those. I'm so proud of myself. I have so many books. Maybe if I feel like torturing myself, I will include a little tour. I have so many books in my apartment that I own and have yet to read. However, buying books, I just am definitely one of those people buying books is a hobby. It is a separate hobby from reading. I love buying books. I love supporting authors that I like. I like judging books by their covers. I, I am the most judgmental I am when I'm in a bookstore. And so shortly after I decided to unhaul all of those, I also went to Barnes and Noble and got three books and then ordered lots more books online, but I'm too impatient. So I'm just going to tell you what they are. So from Barnes and Noble, I was in a spooky, scary mood apparently when I bought all of these. I bought The Silent Companions by Laura Purcell. I started this one last night. I'm super interested to read it after how much I loved the death of Jane Lawrence and mother thing this year. I feel like this is probably gonna go in that same sort of category. So best wishes for this book. The Devil All the Time by Donald Ray Pollock. Uh, this is kind of out there for me. I feel like this is slowly kind of the, the genre that I'm getting into, but have never really enjoyed in the past. Or not enjoyed, but like, I just haven't tried it. Um, the Netflix movie was extremely disturbing, but I got to the end of it and was like, wow, that was phenomenal. And so I would love to, uh, I would love to read it. So I'm going to, it will probably take years to get to though. Let's be honest. And then after she wrote him, I had never heard of this before but it sounds kind of like the spooky scary version of um, Ruby Sparks starring Paul Dano and Zoe Kazan, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. I think it's so creative. So to turn it into spooky sp scary when it's already so close to being that was just super interesting to me. So I haven't heard anything about this. I just picked it up blindly. So I'm excited about that one. I also ordered, again, and the, the spooky scary, um, American Psycho. I hated this movie. I hated it. I do not understand the hype but it very much fits into the kind of category of things that I have been enjoying reading for the last year. So I thought I would give it a shot. True Grit, another similar to The Devil All the Time, watched the movie, really enjoyed it, thought that I could also enjoy the book, loved the cover, so I went for it. Two essay collections, uh, Trick Mirror, which I've heard a lot about and it just absolutely has a stunning cover. The other essay collection is called Tacky Love Letters to the Worst Culture That We Have to Offer. Also an incredible cover, and the back said something about growing up in the early 2000s, which was the time of Hot Topic, Creed, and uh, shiny lip gloss or something like that. And I was like, I have to have this. I have to have this in my life. And last but not least, I ordered my first novel by Elizabeth Gilbert who wrote Eat, Pray, Love. I loved and adored Eat, Pray, Love. Again, haven't read any of her fiction. This is called The Signature of All Things. Beautiful cover. Um, seems again to to fit in the the genre of things that I've been enjoying. So there's my necessary unhaul and my unnecessary haul uh, for the start of 2022, 2023. Yeah, bye.